Welcome to today's video on changing the tablet stand. Some of you may have had a replacement stand or have purchased their own stand to replace their current one. But no matter which stand you have, it is always useful to use or reuse, in this case, the stand that you originally got with your machine. So let's get straight to it because we will be heating this up with a hairdryer for this method, but you can use dental floss in conjunction with a citrus-based solution to help loosen the adhesive, but we found the most effect with the hairdryer method and a simple kitchen knife. There are various ways of uh, doing this, but we will demonstrate the one with the hairdryer today. So this is a uh, 1200 watt hair dryer. You can use a heat gun but we would just say be careful with the heat gun because it can get very very hot. But due to the hair dryer only being um, a minimal power um, we will find that it is a bit more easier to work with just with your bare hands. Okay? So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a heat right now at which point I will start to insert the knife in between the space between the tablet and the actual stand itself. So I'm just giving a little uh, feel here, be careful not to burn my hand. And I'm just going to place the air dryer to the side and the aim of this is to essentially have the hot air go in between the gap that I'm going to gently prise with the knife right now. Okay. So I'm just going to go straight to the middle from the right side and I'm just going to go it in until I can't really push it in any further. And you will notice it may spring back a little bit after you've inserted it, which is fine. Um, and then we're going to lift up with our thumb on the tablet and the knife with my middle finger. And we will just lift up like this. And you don't want to do it too hard. Um, you just want to have a little bit of resistance. Um, but you just want to ensure you're starting to heat up the adhesive just in between the stand and the tablet itself. And fairly quickly you will feel the adhesive starting to loosen up, which it is right now. And hopefully you can see the angle of my hand going up as it is loosening up right now. At this point I'm just going to settle the air dryer on the side while I jig my knife in there. You will notice that you will have a lot more movement and that standard sort of it prising back out will come out. So we're back to sort of heating it up from the side and you will find that it is coming off and it has actually come off the back of the stand rather than sticking to the stand with the adhesive. So from the top down camera, I'm just trying to turn this down, and it's just kind of like gumming up from the edges. Now, much like blue tack, how if you've got a piece of blue tack on the wall and if you just use your fingernail, it's quite difficult to get off. A better solution would be to use a little ball of blue tack just to get the blue tack to stick to each other. And this is similar to what we're doing here. We're just peeling the way the edges as if we're peeling a sticker for the first time with our fingernail. Okay, so we will be using a extra new bit of adhesive, which is here. One side is yellow and one side is white. We will be sticking the yellow side to the tablet stand itself and have the white side that we plan to stick onto the tablet. Of course, don't peel off both sides just yet. Just peel off the yellow side first, but I would just eyeball where we are going to stick this onto here first. You will see that we have roughly about a centimeter around the edges from all sides and that will be your guideline on where to stick this on. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel this yellow side sticker off now. For me anyway, I like to put my thumb at the bottom edge where I'm roughly going to tape on. And you will put that side first, a bit like how you would put a steak in a pan. You would put it on one side and let the other side stick down straight. If we were to put it all in one go, you may find it would stick with a bubble on there on the bottom. but in all fairness, as long as the adhesive is stuck on fairly well, we are not concerned about um, what it will happen on the back. Okay. Next up, we will um, roughly also eye line whereabouts on the stand we will have the tablet stuck. So before peeling off the adhesive, we would just want to eyeball roughly on the table with the tablet facing down and the volume buttons facing away from you and ensure the USB slot is on the left hand side of the tablet. Okay, let's say about four centimeters from each side. So in my mind, I've got four centimeters on each side and I'm gonna align 
the base of the uh, stand flat and I'm going to have the tablet also face down flat with the volume buttons away from the stand itself. And I'm just going to eyeball roughly where the middle of the stand will be. Okay, now this will be a little bit different depending on the tablet you have, but as long as you're happy with the rough centering of it, and you can kind of check by just lifting it up like this and pivoting on the base of the tablet, just to see if that is aligning central. Okay, so I'm just going to peel off the white one now, now that we're ready and have aligned the tablet with the stand. Okay, so I'm just going to double check my eyeballing again, and I'm pretty happy with that. So with a little bit of gentle force from both hands at the moment, as I'm pivoting up, I'm making sure that the tablet is not moving away from my central eyeballing right now and just before I put it in I'm also just going from the top just to see if when I do stick it down is it going to stick down where I want it to be and at this point where it's almost touching you just want to go in one motion and lying flat okay and pressing gently onto the stand and the tablet okay so there we have it that's basically how we would change it the most effective way with a hairdryer. And yeah, it's as easy as sticking stickers on little items. Okay, thank you very much.